Good morning, good morning, good morning. I pray you all had a restful, sweet sleep on last night. And I pray that you are up and ready to give God your first fruit. I'm praying that you are up and ready. You have rose early to find out what God has for you. And that you have rose early to commend your day. Hallelujah. That's what we're here for on commanding our morning, day 122. Okay, guys? So our thought for today is get God's special word for you. That's what we're here for this morning on commanding our morning, day 122. We're here to get God's special word for us. Okay? Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Isaiah 26 and 9. Don't forget, write that down. Isaiah 26 and 9. Glory to your name, God. God, guys, I hope that you have put your armor on today. Don't forget, that's one of the most important essentials that we need to do daily is put our armor on. Remember, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, you need to apply the armor over your life every single day. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Now let's go to Isaiah 26 and 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be sued to the wick, wicked. Let favor be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, rightness, will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majestic of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed of their envy at the people. Ye, yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us. For thou also hast swapped all our works to us. Our Lord, our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us. But by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead, they shall not live. They are deceased, and they shall not rise. There Therefore, haste thou visit and destroy them, and made all their memories to perish. Thank you, Jesus. I just read a little further on, guys, in our um, scripture on today. You know, as I said before in one of the segments that I um, came in, command in my morning, um, you know, we have to know who God is. We have to know and be allowed to be taught that there's only one God. We shouldn't have other gods. We shouldn't carve Im images and pray to them. And we should not, you know, put anything before him. Because anything we do repetitiously and continuously all the time, and it gets a lot of our time, we have made a God out of that thing. And what the, the what I got out of the word uh, was that God would take those things and it would not live. He would perish it. He would destroy it. 
He will not allow it to rise. If we give it to him, if we, you know, lay it at his feet and allow him to be God in our life and help and ask him to help us not to make God of things, people, or places, that we will keep him first and that we will always seek and look to him for the answer because he has the answer. He already knows the outcome. Hallelujah. We are living this thing and we are finding it out daily. We are finding it out every minute, hour, second of the day. What God already knows. So why wouldn't we have that relationship or have somebody like that on our side? It doesn't make sense to me. I can't phantom that. I can't even phantom not having God in my life at this point. After everything I have dealt with and went through and and will continue to have to as long as I'm here on this earth, I can't see how I even made it before I gave my life to Christ. I don't know. It had to be God. It had to be Him to keep me and keep my mind because now that I'm in Him and I've experienced not being in Him because I was not saved at first, you know, I didn't come in the world saved. I was born in the sin. We all was. <clears throat> Excuse me. We all was. So, you know, and now that I've come into that relationship and that encounter of His precious blood, His Spirit, His Word, I cannot understand from this day how I made it without Him. But I thank Him in the name of Jesus. So, guys, we're going to go a little further on into commanding our morning day. 122, okay? Glory to your name. God wants to speak into your life so that he can help you order your day with greater authority and success. Tap into God's best for, for by rising early to spend time in his presence. Let the Lord fill your heart with his peace and joy. And joy. Stand firm on his promises and get his special word for you so that you can stand and declare it throughout the day. Seek wisdom. Seek understanding. Study to show yourself approved. Rise early as did the prophet Isaiah so that you will have the tongue of the wise ready to give an answer for the hope that is in you thank you jesus so guys as i was saying before you know will you rise early to get what god has for you will you rise early so that god can manifest to you who you truly are will you rise early so that he can manifest to you who he truly is and his word and everything that he stands for in the name of Jesus. So guys, let's rise early, hallelujah, to get that wisdom, to get that wise word, to get that hallelujah confirmation, to get that support, hallelujah, to get that endurance, to make it through what God has called us to do. We all have a purpose. Hallelujah. Let's rise early in the name of Jesus to find out what it is. Okay, guys, let's go into prayer. Thank you, Jesus. I will, Father, I will follow hard after you. I reverently, I reverently fear you and keep your commandments. I will rise early to seek you. I will obey your voice. I cling to you. When I pursue you, I will be found by you. I love your words. I can do nothing by myself. I will do only as I am taught of you. I am led by your spirit, for I am a child of God. Thank you, Father for guiding me into all truth. In the name of Jesus, amen. 
Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Father, I thank you for guiding us into all truth. I thank you, hallelujah, for guiding us and protecting us through, hallelujah, this world. Hallelujah, this sinful world. This destruction, this very destructive world. Hallelujah, very deceiving world. Hallelujah. Thank you, very controlling world, God. I thank you for keeping us. I thank you for giving us, hallelujah, the mind that you have created for us to have. I thank you for speaking life into us. I thank you for, hallelujah, speaking your love and your mercy and your grace upon our lives. I thank you for keeping us and protecting us throughout this day. I thank you in the name of Jesus for your word. I thank you, hallelujah, for your admiration. I thank you for loving us, hallelujah, unconditionally in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, help us, hallelujah, to love you even the more. Hallelujah, to grasp your word even the more, to pray without ceasing even the more. In the name of Jesus, to trust you even the more. In the mighty name of Jesus, that we are, hallelujah, speak those things as though they were. Hallelujah, that we are captivate and command our day to, hallelujah, bless us throughout this day. In the name of Jesus, and it will do and go the way we speak it to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. God, thank you for favor. Thank you for traveling mercies. Thank you, hallelujah, for being God. Thank you for saving us, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And thank you, God, hallelujah, for your light and your truth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God, y'all have a blessed day. Know God love you, know I love you. Until our next appointment, God bless you.